right. This solar power project in La Jolla is typical for a commercial solar installation. Photovoltaic panels will cover much of the roof of this new federal office building that will house the Southwest Marine Fisheries Service. Construction foreman Cesar Chaidez says these rails on the roof will eventually support more than 800 photovoltaic panels. A lot of nuts and bolts. We ground them here, all the modules to the spars. And from here, they go ahead and they carry them over and set them in place. So these solar panels here are sitting up. When they're operating, they're actually going to lay down, lay flat on this roof, and they'll generate enough power for about 150 homes. As we build it out from that side over, the entire roof area is going to be covered. There'll be space around it so the, the system can be serviced, but for the most part, that's in, completely covered. Dan Sullivan is president of Sullivan Solar Power. The local company got into the solar installation business about eight years ago and has grown pretty rapidly since then. Sullivan's company does six to eight installations a week. They range from small residential projects to larger commercial scale efforts like this one. In the beginning, prices were between eight and $10 per watt installed. Now prices are between four and $6 per watt installed. So there's been a pretty substantial decline in cost. A homeowner looking to zero out a $160 a month electric bill would install roughly 460 square feet of panels. Sullivan Solar puts the cost after incentives and tax credits at about $19,000. But not all homeowners pay that upfront cost. 75% of all new systems sold in the state of California are not owned by the, the customer, the guy paying the electric bill. It's owned by a third party financer and then they make monthly payments that are less than the avoided cost of electricity. The Center for Sustainable Energy in California says the solar marketplace has changed dramatically. Managing Director Peter Hamilton says that change has happened quickly. Five years ago, many of the people who were going solar were doing so because it was the right thing to do. They wanted to go green. Uh, they were looking at very hefty capital investments, 50, 60, 70 thousand uh, dollars with limited financing options. Hamilton says the high cost kept the potential solar market small. Then prices started falling and the cost of electricity went up. You have now some customers who who may not even care about going green, uh, may not care about about having panels on their house or not, but they're doing it just for the economic benefit. But issues remain. California regulators restrict the number of people who can sell their solar generated power back to the utility. Home ownership rates are below average in San Diego, limiting who can install a solar system. And what pencils out economically today may not tomorrow. Even so, San Diego Gas and Electric's Jim Avery says some major solar farms are poised to come online soon. The growth in the first year of what comes on next year for the first central station will be larger than all the rooftops we've done in the last 10 years. And we'll be adding one of those every sev several months.